best VPNs for Android. I understand that a lot of Android users need a VPN, especially if you're trying to maybe access public Wi-Fi or if you're trying to protect your personal data and you want to make sure that you're using a free VPN that also doesn't sell your data, then, well, you're in the right place starting with Proton VPN. Now, Proton VPN is actually going to be my top choice. I have the paid version of Proton VPN, in fact, here. I think it's a great VPN, one of the best VPNs out there. Now, if you were going to pay for a VPN, I would probably recommend something else, maybe something like Express VPN. But generally speaking, if you're looking for a free VPN, you're not going to be able to select what servers you can connect to you're not going to be able to stream or torrent. So free servers are just not going to support that. And you're going to be limited by speeds, but you will still be able to keep some security features with Proton and they do not collect your information and they're audited by independent audit companies. So you can consider this a certification that they indeed uphold the no logs policy that they claim, meaning that they don't collect your information and they have evidence to back that up. So this is great. Now, I know that I'm on PC, by the way, if I haven't made that clear, all these are available on Android and uh, I'll be putting some Android clips of all the VPNs that I'm talking about here and there. But generally speaking, they're going to look basically the same, whether you're on PC or Android or iOS or Mac. Uh, all these VPNs will have a very similar UI, no matter the device you're using. Now, my next recommendation would be Tunnel Bear. And Tunnel Bear is a VPN that will give you access to servers. So even though you've got a data limit, unlike Proton VPN, there is no data limit with a Proton VPN, even if you're using the free version. The free version here with Tunnel Bear is limited by data at two gigabytes a month. But the cool thing about Tunnel Bear is that it gives you access to all the servers, which is really cool, meaning that if you're looking for access to a huge variety of servers or a big number of countries, about 50 countries, I believe, 45 or 50 countries, and you don't want to pay for that kind of access and you just want to use the VPN sparingly here and there, again, two gigabytes, literally nothing. They'll be done in no time. So if that's what you're looking for, though, you just want to maybe change your IP address because you want to access some type of maybe foreign market that you don't have access to and you just want that quick access or maybe you just want to make sure that nobody knows what you're doing online but only for a brief period of time but of course you're getting access to a lot of locations for free you know if that's what you're looking for then tunnel bear is a great option and it is also safe and audited now what's not as safe and as audited would be windscribe but it's still one of the most reliable free options that will give you access to streaming services although inconsistently but it will still be able to here and there access streaming services like netflix and hulu and so on and so forth it's not that consistent obviously it's a free vpn using free servers and the better uh, servers will be reserved for paying customers and uh, you do have a 10 gigabyte limit but at least you'll be able to pick a few servers here and there from french german american uk servers all available for free so it's not bad at all and it's a fairly quick vpn now if you're not exactly willing to put up with the limitations of a free vpn then i don't want to make this video any longer than it already is but for android specifically you do have a free trial i believe you can still claim it there's express and nord these are two of the top vpns that you can use for android specifically of course there won't be any limitations with these vpns but again this is just if you're interested in eventually investing in a vpn and buying one that will give you access to streaming services reliably something that gives you full freedom without any data limits or speed limitations or anything like that if you end up wanting to get a vpn then i would recommend one of these two express and nordvpn there's another option also if you really want to go for something that just saves as much money as possible without sacrificing any of the features that you might see with more expensive vpns uh, that would be Surfshark, honestly. Surfshark is hands down the best budget VPN that you can get. And it gives you a lot of value too, because you'll be able to share it around with as many friends and family as you would like, since that allows for an unlimited number of devices to be secured with just a single subscription, which is great. So that would be my recommendation as far as VPNs for Android. 
Whether you're looking for a free one or not, I'll leave everything in the description down below, especially if you're looking to save up on your first VPN subscription. So comment below if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer all of them. And a like and subscribe would be very much appreciated. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.